evening, folks. Rudd's here. We're going to do a soap review this evening. Ariana and Evans. Cacao La Soria. Uh, paired there with that, we're going to use the uh, Sterling Soap Company. This is the 26 millimeter finest, I think they call it. Whisker Destruction by the Philharmonica 13 Sub Zero, 13 sixteenths full hollow blade. And we'll uh, finish the shave off with the uh, Ariana and Evans Cacao Lusuria Aftershave Splash. It's uh, aftershave and cologne. So you all know I, I spoke a little bit about Ariana and Evans a few weeks ago. I had the uh, Tenerife sample to try. Um, they're still on schedule for their launch date. Um, right now they're doing a soap set discounts for the members of the uh, club, which is Peter Charkalis' uh, brainchild. And this will be the retail arm of his company such that this will be sold at brick and mortar stores and through uh, other retailers including international retailers so let me uh, wet the face load up the brush get all situated here and we'll come back we'll talk about the scent all right we uh, loaded it like we hated it uh, mainly in part because I'm learning badger brushes so Plenty of soap here in this 26 millimeter sterling. So scent. First off, the uh, scent strength on this soap is mid. Um, that's probably somewhat due in part to the uh, scent profile. There's nothing in the scent that jumps as a... Uh, punchy type scent in my opinion so cacao lusuria is a uh, I'm calling it a hybrid scent it's gourmand meets woodsy cologne uh, and what that means to you is the uh, scent notes are coffee cocoa tonka bitter orange, dried fruit, um, with a hint of cognac and tobacco. And the scent is blended very well. It's very warm and rich. Um, kind of reminds me of a Terry's chocolate orange sitting next to a nice cup of black hot coffee. The suggestions I'd have for scents that are similar, um, both of them to me are slight reaches because there's a lot going on with this particular scent, but uh, I'd say the uh, Through the Fire Fine Crafts Chocolate Orange and the uh, l, l Grooming uh, Scrumptulescent soap if you can find that through bst that might be similar i'm going to uh, finish lathering up here off camera and we'll come back in in a moment here and talk about the performance all right let's uh put this filly to work so i've uh already discussed the performance in my tenerife video um but I want to reiterate, this is an amazing vegan soap base. There are very few vegan soaps that just stop me in my tracks like tallow do. Uh, but this is on that very short list. The um, Cushion and slickness are absolutely strong on this soap. Very slick. Very dense cushion on the soap. Um, but where it really 
sh really really shines for me is the um, the post shave it's one of the only three vegan soaps that uh, blurs the gap in terms of post shave with regards to uh, vegan and tallow if you were to shave with this soap and you didn't and you weren't told that it was that it was vegan uh, at least 50% of the people using it would uh, would imagine it was a uh, tallow based soap it's just got that nice of a post shave um, <clears throat> the only comparable I can think of that's close to it um, is the Dr. John's Volume 2 formula vegan soap. So I'm going to wrap the rest of the shave up off camera and we'll come back and we'll uh, have some final thoughts here shortly. Alright, we're back. Uh, before I get, get on with the aftershave, uh, Corey from Dirty South Shavers was asking today how I like this brush. Um, Bear in mind, I am not a uh, badger guy. This is only the second badger I've owned in the last uh, three years or so. Um, but you can see, I think you can see, gel tips, 26 millimeter knot, uh, nice handle. Um, don't know what the specs are on it. I'll put a link for it down below uh, so you can check it out on Sterling's website. But uh Good amount of backbone, I think, um, based on what I'm feeling. Um, pillowy, soft on the tips. Um, yeah, it's a nice knot. I'm I'm pleased. I got it off the uh, BST. I wanted to start exploring these uh, Badger brushes again. So, so far, so good. All right, we'll uh, get going here with the... Uh, Alright, we'll get going here with the uh, matching aftershave, which comes in this uh, frosted glass bottle. It's got a pumper here. I'm actually just going to spray it into my hands because that's what I'm comfortable doing. And we'll get some on the dome. Very nice. And we'll get some on the uh, face here. This is an alcohol based aftershave. I can feel the uh, skin food already. So, yeah. Ariana and Evans, Cacao Soria. Um, really pleased with this scent. I'm going to uh, recommend you check it out once they go live, or if you're already a club member, head on over, grab a uh, package deal. And uh, if you're looking for a little more in detailed review, um, packaging, pricing, all that. Check out uh, Cloud's review he did today. I'll put a link for Cloud's review below as well. As always, folks, I, can, I appreciate your uh, continued support through subscriptions, likes, comments, emails, and all that other good stuff. Take care.